Hi, I have started the ultimate Java course, but then I'm getting a lot of requests to do Python course. I thought I would finish Java course first and then launch a Python course, but then many people are waiting for it. So now I'm thinking that I will do both of them in parallel. So I will be doing Java and I will be doing Python both in parallel. Every day you will get videos in both Java and Python. Now the question is, what should I learn? Should I focus on Java or should I focus on Python? If you are very new to programming and if you don't have any coding background, if you are not from computer science, if you are from uh, mechanical EC or even BSc, MSc, MCom, BCom, if you are from those branches, Python will be a very good start. Python is very simple to learn compared to Java. But then if you are a fresher and if you are trying for jobs, Java has more openings compared to Python. It doesn't mean that Java doesn't have, Python doesn't have any openings. It, it also has openings, but then more openings are there for Java. My suggestion would be, it will just take three months time, learn both of them, more doors will be opened for you. Okay. Let me show you the syllabus. I will just go through the syllabus, then I will talk. Okay. So first we are going to see introduction to Python programming basics like what are variables what are data types basics we will see input output and then if if else for and while break continue all these we will see these are basics everyone knows it but just for the sake of completion i will be doing it and then we will be focusing on functions and modules most important thing here is lambda functions okay so i am not going to read out everything you please pause the video and read the syllabus and then we are going to see data structures in python lists tuples dictionaries sets strings and then we will see file handling and exceptions how to handle files and how to handle exceptions and then we will see object oriented programming in python so this is exactly same as java there will be minor modifications you have to learn about how loops are implemented in python then we have functional programming we will see higher order functions decorators generators these are very important for interviews and till that till that point till this point it is basic python then we will go for advanced uh, python features like list comprehensions generator ex expressions cont context managers collections module and then we will see how to work with libraries for handling data numpy is a very popular library and it has got many features we will see all of that pandas is very important these are very important for interviews and then how to work with csv and excel sheets and json then we will see data visualization this is also very important for interviews so we will see matplotlib and then we will see seaborn and then we will see plotly these are all for data visualization then we will see how to work with date and times and regular expressions then we will see how to work with apis and what is web scraping so web scraping is nothing but extracting the data from a website which is not your website okay for example if you take esp and crick info website there will be a lot of tables present in it like uh, statistics of which team is doing well which player is doing well what are their rankings now if you want to download all that data you can't do it manually you can do it but it will take hell a lot of time but if you can write a program and download the data that will be very easy then we will see testing and debugging python code so i have forgot to mention it in java course also we will see testing and debugging as well how to write unit tests and how to do debugging and how to profile the code all that we will see in both the courses okay almost it will be similar just some features will be different and then advanced data handling libraries so for parallel computing how to use python and how to how to work on large data sets and what is advanced io operations we will see all of them and then we will work with scientific libraries like simpy so simpy is a scientific library skypy is a scientific library and we can also work with matrices using python and we will see 
what are the libraries that are useful in everyday programming and we will see multi threading in python you have multi threading in java also see the only thing is the syntax will be different and the way you write it is different otherwise everything is same here multi threading and multi processing we will see in python now why am i calling it the ultimate python course is earlier i have done a python course but i didn't cover everything okay but in this course it is going to be exhaustive you go to any interview you will be able to crack it and i have not seen any course like this in the world there might be courses like this but i have not seen them if you see anything just write in the comments okay and all the interview questions will be covered in the course along with the topics you are going to get the interview questions also and you can crack any python interview easily in the world any python interview in the world after you finish this course i can give you guarantee and this is a 100 hours course so you cannot probably write notes for 100 hours it is going to take hell a lot of time therefore lecture notes will be provided for free along with the lectures you can just download from the description okay and this course will help btech students as well as working professionals if you are a working professional and if you have been working for 3 4 years in python and if you are not growing uh, in your career maybe if something is lacking then this course will help you grow in your career and most of the topics that i teach they are not from any book they come from practical experience you will not be able to find these concepts in one book maybe you have to refer multiple books but even then i don't think that they are present every they are all present in one book so all the topics are practically explained and i have a very big team of people who are who have 10 plus years of experience in companies like google amazon microsoft okay i will introduce my team very soon probably on december 31st midnight i will introduce my team but anyway we work for 18 hours every day to give you free content all that i ask you is value our time and efforts please do one thing subscribe to the channel share with your friends whenever any video comes out write a comment and do like it write a comment only if you like the course okay <clears throat> okay shall we start